Hi, this is John with PDF Tax. Um, this here is our first look at Form 1040 for 2018. Uh, it's a new form, a new tax law. Um, it is uh, the draft copy that was released on June 29th, so um, it still has the watermark on it, as you can see. Um, you might recall that President Trump uh, promised to reduce the Form 1040 to the size of a postcard, and so this is it. A lot different than what it has been in prior years, uh, but it does have a second page to it, which is right here. Still, though, a lot smaller than the 1040 was in prior years. So what the IRS has done is they have created uh, six new schedules to capture the information that used to be on the 1040. Um, schedule one is additional income and, and adjustments. Schedule two is tax. Schedule three is non-refundable credits. Schedule four is other taxes. Schedule five, other payments and refundable credits. And schedule six, foreign address and third party designee. Um, now, if you take a closer look at the form 1040 here, one of the first things you're probably going to notice that right here is that there's only three filing statuses. Um, last year there was five. Um, the tax law has changed, of course, but that part has not changed. There's still five filing statuses. So you have to wonder if you're single or if you're married filing joint, how do you tell the IRS or how do you indicate on this form that that's the case? Well, we won't know for sure until the instructions for this form come out, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the way it's gonna work is this. If you enter your name and social here, um, just one name and one social, the IRS is gonna assume that you're single unless you check one of these boxes. And likewise, if you enter two names and two socials, the IRS will assume that you're married filing joint. Again, unless you enter, uh, check one of these, two bo these three boxes. So I'm pretty sure that's the way that is gonna work. Let's go ahead and enter some information on this form so that we can get an idea of how it is gonna work this year. So I'm gonna enter a single taxpayer. So I'm just gonna enter one name and one social and I'm not gonna check any of those boxes up there but I am gonna enter a um, I'm, I'm gonna enter a dependent here and her social is gonna be this she is his daughter and let's say that she qualifies for the child tax credit so we'll check that box. And if we scroll down a little bit here, and we'll uh, add some wages of, let's say, $50,000 and interest income of 1100 And then scroll down a little bit further. And we're going to say that he has business income on line 12 here of 2000 like that. And if he has business income, he's going to have um, self-employment tax. So let's enter 140 here. So 2,000 minus 140 is 1860. And it says here that that should go to line 6. So let's see if it did. And there it is on line 6. So right now we have... Uh, taxable income on line 10 of 52960. But it looks like I forgot to put in the standard deduction which goes on line 8. That e This year uh, for a single person, uh, as you can see over here, single $12,000, that's nearly uh, double what it was last year, which is pretty nice. Um, but the downside of that is um, as you can see, uh, there's no line for personal exemptions anymore. That's because with the new tax law, there are no personal exemptions, which is a kind of a bummer. But that's just the way it is. Congress gives and Congress takes away. So now on line 10, our taxable income is 40960 Now, if we want to uh, figure the tax on 40960 uh, we need to look at this... Uh, 2018 tax rate schedule and 
the single schedule is right here and so 40,960 is right in this range so if we pull up our calculator like that and um, it says uh, the tax is this plus 22 percent of the amount over 38.7 so 40,960 minus 38.7 equals that uh, times 0.22 equals that plus 44.53.50 equals that so that is our tax right there the tax goes on Schedule 2, so we'll scroll down to Schedule 2, and the tax is right there, so we'll enter 49.50 there, and it goes back to line 11, Oops, which is right there. Uh, we also have some... Uh, non-refundable credits we want to enter on Schedule 3. So let's go down to Schedule 3. Um, first one is the Child and Dependent Care Credit that came from 2441. So if we were to fill out that form, we'd come up with a credit of $400. And then we have a Child Tax Credit. Um, you remember we checked that box on the first page of 1040 to say that our child qualified for that credit. And uh, the nice thing about that is that has been increased from $1,000 last year to $2,000 this year. So that should come back to line 12 on 1040, um, right there, 2400. So that's good. Now let's go down to Schedule 4 for other taxes. Uh, right here. We had self-employment tax because we had that self-employment income. So that is going to be $280 approximately, something like that. Um, that goes to line 14. So that is right there on line 14. And now our total tax is $2830. Now let's say that we had um, income tax withheld in our W-2 of 2400 um, we also probably made some estimated payments because of the fact that we had self-employment income and that will go on schedule 5 uh, right down here on line 66 is the estimated payments and maybe $500 for that which goes to 104017d which is right there, 17D. And so the total payments is 2900 and we have a refund here of $70. So that is pretty much it for this. Um, uh, that's how that new uh, tax form will work. Thanks for listening.